Welcome to Inside the Lines. I am Greg Sussman, joined by Frank Stample. First game tonight across the street at the Garden. The Knicks are hosting the Cavs. Knicks are up to a five-point favorite tonight. Third time they've been favorites this season. Frankie, what do you think? I want to focus on the Knicks' defense here in this matchup, Greg. Specifically, over their past two games, they're limiting the opposition to just 42% shooting from the field. The Cavs come into this game 25th in the NBA in field goal percentage. The matchup to watch here is going to be Colin Sexton going up against Frank Nielakina. The last time the Knicks faced the Cavs, Colin Sexton went off for 31 points. But since Frank Nielakina has been inserted in the starting lineup, he's averaging over two steals per game. That's the matchup to watch here tonight, Greg. Both defenses have been pretty good as of late, unlike in Houston where the Rockets are facing off against the Blazers tonight. Not much defense between these two teams with the total set at 230 and a half. Rockets are a seven and a half point favorite at home. Who do you like? I'm looking at the Rockets here, Greg, on Russell Westbrook bobblehead night. You know, he's missed a few games here due to load management, but ultimately they have been a better team when he's on the court so far this season in the games that he's played. We've seen their points per game go up by three points. Their true shooting percentage goes up by over two percentage points as well, which makes a lot of sense because when he's on the court, you know, he drives to the rack and he kicks it out and a lot of people get open shots because of that. We haven't even mentioned James Harden yet, Greg. Over the past two seasons, he has led the NBA in scoring so far this season, doing exactly that 39 and a half points per game the Portland Trailblazers are off to a rough start I like the Houston Rockets tonight Rockets are not off to a tough start they've won seven in a row including covering in six of those seven games we head over to Chicago now where the Bulls are hosting the Bucks Chicago played Milwaukee tough last time out tonight they are eight and a half point home underdogs and you think that brings a little value to Milwaukee though Frank yeah, I'm looking at the Milwaukee Bucks. I think you are getting value because, as you mentioned, the last time they faced the Bulls, the Bulls covered in that game. But the Bucks so far this season, they have the biggest disparity in field goal percentage between them and their opponents by over six percentage points. That does not bode well for the Chicago Bulls, who are shooting right around 43% from the field. That is 28th in the NBA. Giannis Antetokounmpo just picking right up where he left off from last year. Greg, the league's MVP, he's number one in player efficiency rating. He he is second in the NBA in points per game. I think the Bucs get it done uh, on the road as well here. Well, I don't necessarily agree, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. When we come back, we head out to the West Coast. We got a double revenge game. We'll talk about that on the other side. They say less is more, but we believe more is more. That's why we build FanDuel Sportsbook with more, more. More ways to bet. More ways to fund your account. More ways to cash in and more ways to cash out. With payouts delivered straight to your bank account in as little as 48 hours. You want more? You got it. Join today and get a risk-free bet worth up to $500. FanDuel Sportsbook. More ways to win. Welcome back to Inside the Lines. This is Frank Stample. I am Greg Sussman. Up next, we head to Phoenix, where the FanDuel Sportsbook has the Suns as a three-and-a-half-point favorite over the Boston Celtics, who are on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. How much will that hurt them? Yeah, I think this is going to be a tough spot for the Boston Celtics here, Greg. Second night of a back-to-back. -back. It's their third game in four nights as well. The Phoenix Suns have played really well at home so far this season. You know, you see the points per game go up when they are at home as well. And on the opposite side, the Boston Celtics, they're averaging over 117 points per game at home versus when they're on the road. We see that those points per game drop all the way down to 111. I don't want to get in the way of the Phoenix Suns right now, Greg. They are 9-2 ATS so far this season. That is the highest. ATS win percentage so far in the NBA. I'm not getting in the way. I'm taking the Phoenix Suns tonight, Greg. Suns have been hot, but not as hot as the Los Angeles Clippers, who round out our slate tonight. Clippers are a nine and a half point favorite at home against the Thunder, and we get that double revenge game. Paul George against his old team, Shai Gilders Alexander against his old team. Who do you like? I like Paul George and the Clippers here, Greg. I mean, he has scored 70 points in just 44 minutes played so far this season. And the Los Angeles Clippers are 7-1 ATS at home so far this year. I'm taking the Clippers. I'm laying the points again. It's time to get out our dollar holla. We'll give you a long shot bet that's worth taking. And we start with mine. I previewed it earlier. I like the Chicago Bulls tonight. Eight and a half points is, is not that much. Plus, they're going to win this game. Forget that. I like Wendell Carter, who double doubles all the time three of his last four games. I like the Bulls tonight. I'm taking the Phoenix Suns, Devin Booker, to score 30-plus points in this game and get the win. He's scored 30-plus three times this year. The Phoenix Suns have won all of those games, Greg. Coming up next, it's Knicks game night. Enjoy the game.